So the start of good jerky obviously starts with good beef. And so what you see here is we use the top round. This is going to be a choice XT top round. We're going to go ahead and get this leaned up, cleaned up of all fat. And then you're going to see what we do with it next. We're going to take this little top flap off. nothing goes to waste this is going to go to some really good burger Again, if you've ever wondered why the wild country jerky is so good, we start the great cut. A lot of people use different things. A lot of people use different cuts. We stay pretty true to what we use. I like to do 25 to 50 pound batches. Today I'm just going to do a 25 pound batch. So you see here, now we've got those three top rounds completely trimmed up, ready to go. I'm going to take these, put them in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes, just so they'll firm up a little bit. So when we slice them, we get that perfect slice. So you can see here why we put it in the freezer is it's kind of firmed up. I let it sit in there again for about 30 minutes. We're going to put it in here, let this slicer do its, do its work. So I like to let it run a few slices, then I open it up. I'm going to make sure that we're at a right thickness. That looks pretty good. I told you we start with good meat. It sure makes things a whole lot easier, but that right there is the start of good jerky. So we've got 25 pounds of meat. We're going to go ahead and get it in the vacuum tumbler. I'll show you how this works. Got the seasoning. You can notice we put a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of ice in there get that stirred up gotta hook this hose up so 
So I'm going to go ahead and turn this vacuum on. So you hear that sucking the air out of this tank. What that does is it, open up, it opens up the pores of the meat, allows that marinade to really work. I'm watching my gauge as it pulls all that air out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start tumbling. We're going to let this tumble for about 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. So go ahead and get this stuff uh, pulled out of here. Try to fill that up with some air so I can get the lid off. Like this. Sucking air back into that tank. I will tell you that this smells very delightful. As you can see here, it's been marinated. It's ready to go. So now we're fixing to do the part that everybody hates. We're going to get this stuff screened. You guys love doing this, don't you? Love it. Love it. Come on, let's get it. A lot of places like to hang their jerky. It's one of our secrets is we like to go ahead and we lay ours out on jerky screens. Just a preference thing. Again, it's not really a huge race because we don't want to like have any pieces that are just wrapped up. How big the jerky is. Yeah. The smaller, the, yeah, the smaller one's really a lot more time consuming. Sure. Got the, when we first started this, jerky one i introduced it it was just me i have to get my daughter up here and have her help me kaylee. yeah yes kaylee actually helped would you believe, can you believe that there's some of the benefits of working here because i can snack on that yeah thing. we got a qc got a quality control you gotta have the taste gotta have the taste so we're just doing a 25 pound batch, so we don't have to get it too crazy, um, too crazy close together on this. Just go straight in. It's already yeah. Lined up. Take it in.
going to go ahead and let this go for about four hours, then we're going to come back and we'll pull it out and check it. And uh, everyone knows what we do while we wait. We dehydrate. So it's been four hours. Now it's time to open up and see what we've done. Let's check it out. Oh, yes. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That's going to be the Wild Country original jerky. I always got to do QC. Mmm. Fantastic. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching that video.